Welcome back to class. I remain your amazing host on Edit Page at Kenya Denka. Today we shall be considering an important subject matter tag white labeling. White labeling, for you to undertake the task, you will definitely need a number of softwares ranging from Android Studio. Android Studio is definitely the environment with which you're going to be coding, that is an integrated development environment, IDE, Android Studio IDE. Secondly, you would need your postmark in order to be able to consume API endpoints. API actually meaning application programming interface. And lastly, you shall be needing a particular software which is called Figma. Figma is very much essential when it comes to prototyping and wireframing. That is, it helps you to be able to navigate through the very best tool without much calls as regards your transforming user interfaces and user experience into real life terrain. Yeah, based on the peculiarity of this terrain, let's search for the word white label, which has its etymology from the word white label. White labeling occurs when the manufacturer of an item uses the branding requested by the purchaser or marketer instead of its own. That is to say, for example, Mercedes Benz is to customize a vehicle for a particular company, let's say a Ferrari now. Instead of having to carry the brand name Mercedes, definitely it's been changed towards Ferrari. That is to say, every feature of that particular vehicle might just be like a clone of mercedes benz but the brand that will be identified that will be tagged on it will definitely be what be that of ferrari let's try to dig further white labeling is when one company buys its own product from another company and rebrands it as its own the company which sells the final product to a consumer is really not involved in the manufacturing process now how does this apply to this terrain of ours Let's take for instance, I have a school called Adenka College and there is another friend of mine that wants a particular software which I'm currently using, maybe I developed it for my own school use but it can still be replicated because it just has a particular code base that the functionalities can actually be used by every other person that fits into that term. So what we might just do is the same code base, we just need to change some uh, features and switch then we will we we'll definitely have the software being in place for the other organization. Yes, so let's dive deeper with respect to this demo. Let's just try to get onto our Figma. Let's say for instance, you can actually see this particular design here. This is another design here and it is being replicated here. If we want to get to this terrain, what we might just need to do is just to kind of like try to tab and copy this particular template which is already on Figma. Actually hold your alternate key on your keyboard, then you drag to the location you want it to be situated. You keep dragging till you get to the destination. Let's imagine this is actually my destination. Once I get to my destination, I'll definitely want to leave my button. That's on my mouse, and the next thing is to leave the alternate key and the duplication as symbol actually disappears. Yeah, in respect of the white labeling theory, we definitely want to change some of the um, design interface that is the look and feel. First thing you would actually notice is that the color convention of this early white labeled school actually correlates with this. In order to change this, what we might just want to do is just to highlight this particular section. Let's just imagine that the first two screens are being white labeled. That is to say, they are being cloned to be in correlation with this new organization we are labeling for. You just get onto this right hand side, have to click on show color selection. Then the colors we might want to change to conform to this new organization in a school. You just try to select it. Use the color picker to enable it conform to this other school. As you can see, it has actually changed. Let's imagine that I want to actually make it conform to this other greenish color. I just need to click on this. On checking the frame now, it definitely conforms to this. And on and on and on like that. 
as you can see this is actually more or less like an onboarding screen there are basically three the next thing i want to do is to just try to replace this particular logo with this other one in order to actualize this we might want to duplicate this entity here which is actually the part of the school then we might want to resize it but before we actually do that we might need to remove this entity from this end then we drag in this to replace it as you can see it's actually a frame that is to say it's giving you a limit of partial view and this limit of partial view has to be in correlation with this other one if we should kind of like put them together so in order to achieve this we might want to bring this light to close this to this other end just so that you can have a complete and better view of how they relate the very best way. What I just want to do is just to remove this other entity by having to works, delete it. And the next thing is, I just try to duplicate this entity here by having to drag it to this other frame. Then I just try to ensure that they are definitely correlatory. As you can see, it's entering into this other one, which is not my desired intention. So I will just have to be very much gentle and careful with it until it becomes as if it's just an image. Thereafter, I can actually select. So what I have currently here, you might want to zoom by having to click on your control button and keyboard. The next thing I just try to drag until I get the perfect fit of what I actually want. Of which, as you can see on your screen, this is very much close to what I want. And I think it's definitely a bit out for me. I can now actually separate them. So I just try to drag this to this end and separate them. So as you can see, they are separated and they have distinctive look. Yeah, going forward, you know, to check some other screens. As you can see, we have a login screen here. This is definitely for registration. This is a dashboard which is currently being shown on your screen. Um, then we have something like this. This is actually a navigation drawer. This is a modal. For you to kind of like make some kinds of notifications and integration this is to make an entry of pin and all that and this is a virtual session with respect to virtual learning telling this is actually a chart uh, contact list and you have uh, a sort of chart here at this point in time and as you can see this is for academic records on and on like that we have a written chart then you have something like this as well that actually itemizes the score based on CA, exam, and attendance. Then you move on and on like that, like that, like that. So it's really a very much robust framework. So in order to ensure that it's correlated to this new color, we just try to repeat what was actually being done here for every other one. Um, there is a particular flow chart diagram which we will definitely conform to. Firstly, there are some administrative preliminary tasks that need to be done in order for you to get done with the procession. Then, the final aim is to deploy the app on Google Play Store or every other app store which it needs to be deployed as you can actually see here. The first and the last task are being administratively undertaken, that is to say, real-time correspondence provisioning and what server provisioning which is the first phase and lastly i'm going to deploy on google play store let's dive deep into it um just like it's been said that you need to install android studio the next thing after i have successfully installed the android studio is to click on this particular button which is a file button the next thing is you say new project from version control the version control we use on this terrain is actually JIT all. You will need to obtain the link from the line manager. 